Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video. The project we'll be talking about in this video is an NFT collection. Uh, if I'm being honest, it's an experimental NFT collection. It's an experiment just like Pepe was, and we know how that turned out to be. The NFT collection name is Joy Hoppers. Uh, these NFTs are basically relics. They do not have any benefit owning these NFTs do not give you any special access and this will make you wonder what is so important about them this mere fact that they do not have any benefit any perks any anything associated with them they're just meant to be collectibles they're just meant to be art pieces that are supposed to be kept collected i think we all can see where this is going these nfts remind us of the time when nfts originated uh, this was the time when you know the only characteristic that they had was to be a collectible something to be kept in a collection or to be displayed as art and they would sell for millions of dollars now the reason why i said that this is an experiment just like pepe was uh by the time that pepe token was launched uh that was the time when meme tokens they they had more utility than the utility token themselves the meme tokens that we're seeing right now, they have so many utilities that we cannot even call them meme tokens because of all the things that they have to offer. But this this whole thing, this, this competition in the market, they have made us forget the actual idea behind meme projects. They're supposed they were supposed to be fun, they were supposed to be not something to be taken serious. And nowadays, that's not true. That does not apply with the tokens that we have because of all the, you know, the competitive market that we have. Each project needs to offer something more than the other one so that they can, you know, uh, get ahead of them. But let's be honest, this whole thing has made us forget why did meme tokens started in the first place. But Pepe, they brought us back to how the meme tokens were in the past. They did not do any airdrop, no claim function, no mint function, no giveaways whatsoever. This like there's nothing with the Pepe that's, that, that's associated with Pepe. They do not have any defined or structured roadmap what they did was they made the project they did marketing for it and the project just boomed because it was unique because it was different because it took people back to the time when meme tokens originated in the first place and this is exactly what's happening in joy hoppers nowadays we have all these nfts that gives us all these perks all these benefits access to these parties or you know web you know metaverse parties or whatsoever nowadays because of the competitive market that we have nfts needs to offer more and more but they're making us forget the idea behind NFTs. They were supposed to be kept, you know, as a collectible uh, in a collection as art pieces. And there are still collectors out there who are looking for these type of NFTs whose only characteristic is to be kept as a collectible. Nowadays, with all these NFTs that offers all these benefits, we know what their prices are. People are just making these NFTs and associating different benefits and perks with these NFTs in order to sell them. But the only reason that they're associating these benefits with the NFTs is because they believe that the NFTs themselves does not have any intrinsic value within themselves, which is, I think, is absolutely wrong. It takes away the whole concept of the NFTs. But Joy Hoppers, um, they're coming with this narrative to take back you know, take us back to that time when NFTs were just about, you know, uh, art pieces that are unique and that are kept as collectibles. And that, I think, is going to be revolutionary. It's just like Pepe, just like this is the same experiment that, you know, the team of Pepe did with the Pepe token itself. And we know how that turned out. And that begs this question, will, will the same thing happen with this collection? So in this video, we're going to talk about, you know, this whole collection. Um, we have already talked about the you know, the narrative that is behind joy hoppers which answers most of the questions that we may have there won't be any benefits for holding these nfts so the only characteristic that they have is to be bought and kept as a collectible and with more and more people that will be buying these nfts they will become more and more rare and their value is going to increase and they actually have a, another strategic move that is placed in these nfts in total there's going to be ten thousand nfts but they have released only 1,000 NFTs. Once these are sold, the, uh, NFTs will be minted only on demand of users. So that will keep the value in check. And with you know, when they become more and more rare, 
the value is going to increase so the nfts are available on the open sea we have 1000 nfts with different trades each nft is unique it is different than all of the other nfts so we'll take a look at their collection on the open sea we'll also take a look at their white paper and it may surprise you but this nft collection it was created during the pandemic period by a 15 year old girl who used her skills and talent and creativity to create these collection within an eight month period time the theme of these nfts are space unicorn uh, and well, when we take a look at it we'll see what the story is behind each of these nfts and i think you'll be able to tell it for yourself when you take a look at these nfts uh, so that's what we're gonna do make sure that you watch till the end um, as always anything that i'm going to say in this video is not going to be an investment or a financial advice so always do your own investigation research and with this out of the way let's get right into it now here we are in their open sea page um, their previous name was joy hop club and they changed it to joy hoppers the floor price that we have is of 0.3 ethereum which is not going to you know stay this way uh, afterwards it will get increased you can take a look at the collection that we have and uh, the, uh, the price ranges are uh, actually we're going to take a look at the white paper to see the price range for it um, but you can see we have different price ranges there's like one, one for 0 0.3 ethereum uh, there's one for 0 0.48 ethereum I, I think this is the most expensive one that we have uh, then we have for 0 0.05 rap ethereum and somewhere like that and we have different traits so we have different accessories backgrounds clothes eyes faces uh, head and horns and within all of these traits, we have many other um nfts within them so you can filter them out based on your preference but one thing is you know one thing that is clear here is that all of these nfts are unique within themselves they they tell a story you know they have their own story which i think makes them really unique and if you talk about the the quality i think if it's if it's not better then the most popular NFTs, I think, is equal to those. Like, if you take a look at the board at Beyond Club NFTs, I think if we compare the um, creativity and the graphics uh, of both of them, if not better, I think this is equal to their, you know, um, level. So that, in my opinion, uh, poses uh, a great potential in this NFTs to be successful. So far, we have 1,000 NFTs that are released that has been minted and that are up for sale. Uh, once these 1000 NFTs are sold, they are going to mint more and more. And one thing is clear, once the NFT collection is sold, it will become more and more scarce, more and more rare, and that will increase their value. This is something that I've seen, you know, happen before. And there's actually a story behind this. Um, but to know that story, we need to know who created the, you know, these NFTs, who created this collection. This was created by a 15 year old girl during pandemic she used her talent she used her creativity to came up with this whole collection and it took uh, maybe around like eight eight months to create this collection which is a, a great deal of time and this has happened before when a young boy created a collection like this of course it wasn't of this high value uh, uh, or you know graphics it was just simple pixel art which he created and uh, overnight it started getting sold and the value it skyrocketed to 10x to 100x of each of the nfts so this has happened before and now it may happen again with much better graphics with much better marketing now let's take a brief look at the white paper um so first of all we have the abstract which talked about the background of the um of the nft collection which we already have talked about uh so we're gonna move forward then we have the concept and the art style, which is important. Uh, it says Joy Hoppers draws inspiration from the whimsical and imaginative world of space unicorns, uh, which is a unique concept. The collection's vibrant and psychedelic art style captures attention with its bold colors and expressive designs. Um, each Joy Hopper is a unique representation of punk, psychedelic, open unicorn theme, making it visually appealing to a wide audience, uh, which of course plays an important part um, in determining the importance of these nft collections now we have the creator vision which we already have talked about um it was it was crafted by a 15 year old artist who used adobe creative cloud uh during the pandemic period and came up with the, with this collection and if you talk about the unique features that we have um we have different and distinct traits and features which we already have taken a look at on the open sea uh, which 
you know makes nfts each nft different from another they have the unique story behind them and the traits that they have define their story and it defines what their profession is which it says the nft is appealing to collectors who value variety and we have a whole lot of uh, variety here we already have talked about the value proposition the importance the significance of these nfts uh, and the whole narrative and the idea behind these nfts now let's talk about the pricing uh, the joy helpers collection is priced in the range of 0 0.03 to 0 0.48 ethereum it lies somewhere between that so the price range is is flexible uh, this is for the kind of like the first batch of the collection that has been released this cannot be said for the future uh pricing because once you know these 1000 nfts are sold uh, afterwards the price may increase because they will get more and more scarce uh, they will become more and more rare and with that their value is eventually going to be increased so in these cases it is always better and more profitable to come in early roadmap as i already explained just like we had on the pepe um and just like we had in the previous and the original NFTs that we used to have before, there was no defined roadmap. So just like that, there is no defined or structured roadmap in this, which is what makes us unique. But we do know what is going to happen. Uh, right now, we have 1000 NFTs that are minted. Afterwards, they will, they're going to mint more and more NFTs based on the demand of the users and then we have the conclusion which is the joy hoppers nft collection uh, encapsulates the essence of the nft origins while embracing a contemporary art style that resonates with a diverse audience which is true they do bring us back to that time where the nft originated but the the quality of the nfts the you know the whole um the graphics that it has that is something uh, of new they are unique they're not something we have seen in the market before so um, by evoking nostalgia and celebrating the creativity of the early days, Joy Hoppers stands as a testament of the enduring value of art in the digital age. As collectors acquire these relics of the past, they contribute to a narrative that bridges the gap between history and innovation in the NFT landscape. And we know in the crypto industry, whether it is a crypto project, a meme token or an NFT collection, the idea is the most important aspect of it because that is something that creates hype that dazzles investors and users alike and that is what leads to adoption and eventually price appreciation and there we have it this was their complete white paper we have taken a look at their open sea um, page the whole nft collection different traits within them we talked about the background the vision the story uh who created these nfts why the, why does this nft collection has a potential uh and why should we be able to you know be getting into it so rest is up to you so make sure that you check this out and if you do plan on getting them um right now is the perfect opportunity before you know everyone else gets them and they will eventually become more and more expensive so if you want to get them right now is the perfect chance for you to do that and yeah uh this is all of you guys in this video and i'll see you guys in the next one shortly so stay tuned